Okay, due to the miracle of recorded sound and everything else, if I push this fader up here, we should hear from a gentleman by the name of Chris. Hello, Chris. Are you there? Hey. Hi. Yes, I'm well. I'm well as well. Yes. You sound a bit echo. You sound a bit... We're in the Royal Albert Memorial Museum. You sound a bit um, echo- you sound a bit echoey, mate. Yeah, you're on speakerphone. Hold on. Okay, yeah, turn that off. We don't need that on. Okay. That's, um, mu- that's much better. Okay, and it's um, the weather the, the weather exhibition that we're at. Mm-hmm. Is a big room. What's on those tellies over there? One. Okay, there's lots of photos of weather events such as. Um, I'll let I'll hand you over to Will. He can tell you, and then he'll hand me back to tell you about my weather forecast. Okay, you're it. So. Uh, sure. Hello. Yeah, JD. Yep. Yeah. Th- th- some of the photos are, are very still situations, not not storms at all. And there's 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 photographs. Some of them are on backlit screens, mm-hmm. so those those change every so often. Mm-hmm. And then there's also uh, paintings of icebergs uh, in sunshine. So none of the none of the paintings we can see are frightening in uh, in this room. We've got another room to go to, so we might find again in a little bit. The yes. echo is because it is an echoey room. The the other thing I'd say, there's there's a, a, a good history of where the weather forecast comes from. And uh, since we started around 1859, because of the, um, the hurricanes and all the shipwrecks that were going on. Hence, so that's, that's, hence that's where they got the budget. Hence the ship, ship forecast, which we, we've been going on for ages, hasn't it? Always remember that when I was a little boy, in, on, the, in, on the radio. On the radio, yes. Uh, yes. The last thing of the night, you know, the shipping forecast. <laughs> well, I think that's where it's coming from. Uh huh. And there's all barometers over there, which are we going to look at? Yeah. Uh, you go to talk to JD. Oh look. Well, well, no, 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 stay, stay with us, Chris, because... Uh, so, so do the, 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 there were some kids in here as well. It's, it's quite busy, but if you come over... Yeah. Um, one, of, one of the features is, is um, a, a weather forecast in... Stu- well, it's like a studio from long ago. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> it's a, it, yeah, it's a BBC... It's a genuine BBC studio before there were computers. Oh, your era, your era. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so Chris is just setting up the weather in Exeter. We might, we can't use this phone to take photos as well as find the studio. No. But we may have a photo later on. Okay. And um, they are encouraging this. Mm-hmm. So any anybody can come in here and. Uh, I'm just taking a photo. Uh huh. Great. This is live radio. <laughs> this is Chris of weather. Sounds to be quite blank there. Are we waiting? Okay, so it's going to be, they're going to be a 10 mile wind in Exeter, it's going to be sunny, it's going, they're going to be a really heavy thunderstorm, and it's also going to sleep. No snow? Uh, no snow? Well, there's, oh, there could be snow. And no, the snow is going to hit the Midlands. Ah. Because I don't like snow. <laughs> All right, so you've ordered it to go north, have you? Yeah, I have. I've ordered it 
to go up the country a bit. So now we're just going round the corner mm -hmm. and we're looking at lots of historical barometers. Ah, right. Those are those long things, aren't they? With uh, They're shaped like a spoon. Yeah, oh. and they, t they... Some of them have got a clock face on them. Mm. Which I'll pass you over to Will as I just reverse into a spring. Yeah, there's there's about four of them. These bar barometers. Um, well, just the, the first one that we can see is a banjo barometer from about 1880, and um, we're not allowed to tap them. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh yes, yes. Everybody we, had to tap them to make sure that they are <laughs> reading correctly, didn't they? <laughs> well, we should be. Yeah, this one's saying um, it's saying the air is going to be very dry. Well, I suppose that could be true. Yes, it is very dry. Yeah. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll say that one's working. Mm -hmm. That is the wheel barometer. The That's real from one. Okay. About eighteen twenty-five. Mm -hmm. And. Um, well, oh, I don't. I don't think I can read. I can't read the pressure or make any sense of it on this one. But this what this one might have been from 1760. Wow, that's a long time ago, isn't it? Calibrated. Well, that, yeah, that might be why we can't make make much sense of it. I, no, I think it is. But anyway, look, I think people should should come here and have a look for themselves. It, the show's carrying on till the uh, 10th of April. And you are How at... How many rooms are there, Will? There's a good lot of rooms. So we had a good look at the weather expose and we'll be back over in a few minutes. OK, then. All right. OK. Mind the snow. Go and cuddle your huddle. Oi, hey, less of that, please. Okay. Bye there. Bye. Bye.